Um, yeah, if you look in the dictionary and uh, for Jason, yeah, it's this picture. It's this picture. <laughs> it's this picture. Thank and you, that's Jason. all there is to it. All you need. Yeah, I think he's wearing an OCBD also as a sh as a shirt. Look at his look at his uh, pink bathroom. Are you gonna are you gonna, of... are you gonna shit in there when you go there in uh, September yeah. or whatever? Hell yeah, I will. Uh, speaking of uh, OCBs, we got the king of mod himself, Mod Ivy. We got Axel here wearing a really interesting uh, uh, four again another four on two DB jacket uh, with like a awning stripe or bengal stripe button down collar shirt some nice slim jeans with a cuff some like lavender socks or like uh, kind of like a Perry bluish Winkle. gray sock which is really cool periwinkle that's good the hot version <laughs> okay uh no sorry that's magenta that's right um and then some penny loafers a little bit of blues clues action for you guys don't say that um uh yeah really yeah i like this uh, little pop of color in the uh in the um Breast pocket. We're gonna be talking about color in a couple uh couple episodes. Uh, uh, that's it's right. planned. It's planned in there. Uh, but yeah, really cool stuff. We haven't seen Axel wear a DB, or at least not to my knowledge. I don't recall. So sorry. I, I also don't recall. Yeah. But it looks really good here. Yeah. Very Thank you, nice. Axel. All right. Ooh. Oh, we got Philip, and uh, this is a this is a fantastic look from. Um, from Philip, he's wearing his trusty uh, Bryceland's uh, fun shirt, which I've I've said many times that I'm I love this shirt. I think it's great. Uh, he's got yeah, like wrinkly goodness. Look at how well it's all it's broken in already. Well, um, it looks, looks like it. It looks like he had it tucked in and untucked it. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, we'll have to ask him if he pops into if he pops into chat later. But yeah, he's got that just with a, uh, you could see some undershirt peeking out, which is kind of cool. Um, some wide khaki shorts. Those probably are Gurkhas. Yeah, it's yeah. Gurkhas. Uh, some tube socks, a uh, pair of boots. He's got his new silver belly, which, you know, he's got, he's working hard to break in. Uh, a swatch, some nice jewelry, and you can see he's painted his nails recently. Um, kind of a fun look will move and great shades but yeah uh once again great look from philip thank you very much fj um h wilberg um henrik congratulations on the feature by the way uh and your, yeah, local in his, magazine. his local magazine uh doing the denim on denim um yeah, I mean it's like the pseudo pseudo denim jumpsuit, um, with the uh, good thin brown belt, no socks, yeah, right. loafers. Um, what's yeah, the name like of the floppy hat? hat? Yeah, big. I forgot the. I don't know. Yeah, just a it's, big. Floppy it's a big hat. floppy hat. The, yeah, the BFH. Um, yeah. BBGJ. Remember that one? <laughs> um, no, yeah, this is this is really good. The uh, like Levi's, like I think five seventeens, whatever, like the like the high rise, slightly tapered um, zipper front uh, jean is really good. Um, you know, if this was if this was Esquire man, we'd have to see the Jippa Jappa hat, but we don't. Oh, so that's right. right yeah. Thank you, thank you, Henrik. Let's see who's next. Oh, oh it's, it's me. You. I I'm so good at timing this stuff. Where like last time it also landed on me again when it was my turn. Um. I am my like I don't know if it's like a server's jacket. Uh, it's kind of like a sport vest from the LB in, but except it's in white cotton. Uh, I'm wearing it with a J Crew, the shirt you're seeing right now, a J hey. Crew like, multi striped shirt, some uh, side tab wide, um, sorry, white work pants that I actually also I've never really talked about these as much, but they are second to the gabardine trousers that, that i think fit me really well and then some lhs pennies i'm wearing the jacket not only because it's cool i wanted to do like a full white like pseudo suit thing for for summer but also because we're talking about niche vintage wear um this week uh this coming weekend on the pod um or technically it's out now but we're talking about it on the stream next saturday for niche vintage wear and this is kind of a fun niche one you know it's like an interesting design that you don't really see anymore and so i Got inspired by my own essay. You know, I inspire myself, basically, is what I'm saying. 
So Ooh, we just got Jason. Yeah, in. very cyclical. Huh? Just missed his about three. Yeah, very cyclical. <laughs> I uh, you're inspired to write, and the forth. the writing inspires you back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's the uh, snack that smiles back. Pringle. Let's see. Goldfish. Oh, we got Connor up next. The Duke himself. Uh, Duco. Uh, El Duco. <laughs> I think you should start going by that. That's not douchey at all. Um, yeah. But Connor's going for a more simple look today. We got just a black t-shirt, some green Gurkha shorts. Shorts? Those are <laughs> full-on pants, baby. I don't see knees there. Um, he's got them with brown suede loafers, a uh, navy ball cap, and just some kind of watch on there. But yeah, simple look, but still super nice. I mean, looks very, like, you know, practical. Uh, it's probably what I would wear more often if i was a smarty pants instead of a dumbass who likes to wear a jacket even when it's 100 <laughs> degrees out um yeah, but yeah good look from connor thank you very much Ooh, uh, good. yeah mj take this one this is very up your alley too yeah we have a this would be like a linen cotton brown chore jacket um button-up shirt very nice wash on the jeans and um yeah some mocks yeah are some those mock the, lace, uh, lace ups? They, they've got like they're like two-tone i think they got like a suede like tongue upper vamp thing and then like a brown with mm. a nice uh nice mock on those like yeah. mock uh mock sinto stitching mm -hmm. yeah really cool very kind of wide kind of like you know kind of you i mean they're probably yucatines maybe you know mm -hmm. probably they look like them yeah uh yeah, really good stuff, Skylar. Very very soft, very comfy. Soft though. Soft. Talked about soft. We got slouch core. We got Oscar here doing some really great vintage proportions with his rubato crew neck. Uh, you know, simple navy blue. Got the white OCBD probably, and then some military chinos. Really, I mean, you know, it's a simple look, but again, the proportions are what makes it really great. It doesn't look. Like, I don't know, it, it emphasizes the physique, you know, broad shoulders, nipped waist, long legs, you know, like, that's yeah. why we love this shit. It's so good. I'm pretty sure there's like an Esquire or Apparel Arts illustration that's like a straight up this, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, but yeah, thanks, Oscar. Really good. Also, I want to shout out, mm. for, I want to shout out Four Gathers for following us on Twitch. <laughs> oh, there you um, go. Thank you, Four Gathers. Okay. Uh, we got, uh, we got Mexican Boots Boy. Uh, who's appealing to me? He's got a, he's got a, like he's got kitty in the shot. That sounded, that probably would sound weird on audio, but he's got a, <laughs> yeah, he's got that his was pet cat in there. <laughs> uh, his pet cat looks very cute. Um, but he's got a just tan blazer. Looks like it might be camel hair, which I'm jealous. I, I want a good camel hair blazer. Uh, just a white, like kind of long collar shirt. Uh, horizontal striped knit tie. Once again. Need something like this in my collection. I love knit ties like that. Just some khakis, my uh, uh, white socks, some loafers. I mean, yeah, very, very classic. Very, uh, dare I say it, trad look. Um, you dare? But yeah, you I dare. do dare. You will. But yeah, very, very good look. Very cute cat. Thank you very much. Thanks for the cat. Yeah. Oh, MJ, take this one. Ah. <laughs> You're screaming. <laughs> It's too much, Pat. I'm just kidding. Uh, we it's have like Newton Street lashes. Vintage with a very nice uh, <laughs> green. Did does he? Uh, did he provide it's source for the greens? Uh, it's, it's the Drake seersucker. The Drake's seersucker. green seersucker. Um, Excellent color. With a red striped shirt, a very, very geometric um, black and blue tie. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's the art. Like, it's like a variation of an artillery tie, which has mm. that kind of like geometry. Hair, but it's got like crest, a mo uh, like a motif crest pattern in between the, the artillery mm. uh, stripes. So it's kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> wild. Finish it off with some suede boots. Looks like um, yeah, brown boots. Okay. Very very nice. Yeah, the, nice. the Thanks, green yes, suit, man. Rat. The green suit. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. I know. We got to we gotta get them, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just keeps pushing the green suit onto me. I mean, I was already on board at the beginning. With you the already green have suit, one. So. We talked about this last week. We got one. <laughs> you, have, you have mine. But, but I, I mean mine. You know, there's a difference. <laughs> but thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, um. 
Lewinstreet yeah, Vintage. <laughs> Zach. Zach. It's Zach's name. It's Zach. Um, Zach's name. Style. Yeah, Zach's name. Yeah. Um, we we've got uh, we've got Style the Papa here. Style the Style the E Pap. Uh, um, really nice casual look here almost a schoolboy outfit uh to me uh which as we discussed in the discord is like not just an untucked ocbd but like white socks and loafers with shorts but you know it's, a, it's like a kind of a cool dead outfit so he's got like a a short sleeve multi-stripe ocbd nice bucket hat some again some uh, air force blue almost a french blue short and then the uh fisherman um Sandals, which we've been seeing a lot of, like the past Love like those. year and a half yeah. now. Looking for some. According to my good friend Davide uh, from Gai Kashmir, he goes, "I recommend churches, and they cost nine hundred and fifty dollars there." Oh so, no! Wow. Okay. Not amazing. Not gonna get that. Um, but I've been looking for some. I know, you know, eBay occasionally they turn up, but yeah, turn up. My mom went to Mexico, and I asked her if you see like some nice woven like sandals like this and she, the ones that she sent me pictures of were not good ouch just like if you look at like if you look at like target and you look at like fisherman sandals it's also not, not good. good yeah i mean I, I i search ebay every once in a while for fisherman sandals and no good no good stuff there's nothing good there <laughs> too little good stuff too Dude. little good stuff where is where is Olgis when you need them. Not here. Yeah. Spencer? Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't. I'm so, I didn't switch over on my feed. We have a nice shoe right here. Uh, who's wearing uh one of my favorites, the Red University Stripe OCBD. I have one which I haven't worn in a bit because my uh the the collar is like destroyed, and I really need <laughs> to get that like flipped or repaired before I throw it in the wash a couple more times. Um, but he's got that with just some green shorts, I think, uh, and then just some like tan, uh, uh, pretty understated sneakers, which I like that a lot. I like, or I like those, like, I like that pair in particular. It's got a really nice, like, uh, silhouette to it. Nice color. I mean, overall, a very good look. This is like, you know, basically what I wear most days anyway. Um, but yeah, super cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Nice Shoe. Do you think he ever Ooh. says no more Mr. Nice Shoe? No, oh, MJ, Baby. take this one. Clint Westwood bringing us the belted field jacket. Very nice, worn in um, with a white button-up shirt. Some the navy cargo trousers. Yeah? Uh uh, uh, I think so. Yeah, that, I see. That looks like it. There. Yeah, yeah, that's um, sick. That. With some very, very nice chunky black shoes, but yeah, this is this is cool. This, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. He's killing it. I mean, it's killing funny because you know, it's kind of like kind of fashiony a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit throwing fits, you know, or maybe not throwing fits, but like male, our male fashion, and this is. Probably the most like hashtag men's where we've seen them do. Yeah, I'd like a cosmic gumbo. Cosmic gumbo. Yeah, because, well, you know, by, inspired by black exploitation film yeah. in the 70s. He's got a stew going. Um, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Thanks, Clint. Let's see who's next. Ooh, got this one's stuff in nice. the things of the Peter. I got, I got some like, uh, uh, you know, how do you describe it? I don't know how to describe it. Like, kind of like a guy you don't want to mess with. From New York, New York, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, like, really cool. Like, like I don't know, kind of feels like a Dickies kind of jacket, but it's not. It's kind of got like a like it's like it looks like it's like cut some pretty thick lining in there. Uh, you know, kind of puffy looking. Got some raw hem slim jeans that go really well with those black shoes. Uh, a navy crew neck, and then cool shades and a uh, New York, a uh, New York. That's the Yankees, right? Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. Oh, okay. All right. No, cool. it is. Uh yeah, the bucket hat, really cool stuff. Um, yeah, nice like suburban kind of edgy look. I mean, yeah, I, I like that. the jacket. It kind of reminds me of like an. It reminds me of an N one, just in the in there terms you of go. Like, that's... color. Yeah, that's a good. But it's it's it. obvious it's not quite an N one. But regardless, yeah. super cool. Super cool. Thank you. Thanks. All right, up next we got Caveman Tweezy, and he's not uh, frozen. And... 
You just clipped out you there, just, but like, yeah. Cut off the mic. yeah. You, who's, who's the who's the guy that you love that just screams and it's Tyler one. Works out Tyler his mic. one. You just blow out Tyler his mic. one. No, there's the other guy. Oh, there's oh, wizard, guy. Oh, wizard, oh, yes, wizard, yes, it. Yeah, we just got to You just, you just pulled <laughs> I haven't seen that, that video. Dude. Yo, <laughs> that's the frog. That's what the frogs are saying actually right now. Yeah, but that is what they are saying. But he's not yeah. starting no Geico commercials. But he is wearing uh, a a what? fit that saves you. I don't know where I was, where I was going with that. Geico because his name is Kite Man. No... But okay. uh, there's nowhere for the joke to go from there. Regardless, it's a good fit. So he's got a really cool tie dye shirt. Mm -hmm. uh let's room for each other he's got a capital uh uh trucker hat on the shirt might i don't know that could just be like random like vintage t or it could also be like capital i don't know enough about uh t-shirts to say with certainty um some cool like it looks like charcoal stacked denim some just very slick black shoes i can't really quite tell what those are from the photo but yeah, no, a very good look for a day at the theme park, hanging out with your two frogs, you know? Um, that's, that's not, no, yeah, well, I don't know what that is. Not, I mean, it's not Disneyland. It can't possibly. No, it's be. not Disneyland. Yeah. Where We would know about these frogs if it was Disneyland. Yeah. And I mean, the attraction oh, behind them is like a, it's like a water thing. I don't know where that is. Yeah. It could be, thought... could be a water park, but this doesn't, the people, he doesn't look like, uh, no, well, I mean, you know, like, I think California Adventure has a random water attraction, right? Because he's clearly yeah. not dressed for the water park. The people behind him are not dressed for the water park. You so that leads, say, yeah. that leads me to believe that it's not a water park, but a theme park that has a water attraction. Anyway, Caveman, sorry about your TV show getting canceled. <laughs> okay, there you um, go. Nick Kroll your... starred in it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there you go. Uh, thank you, Caveman. We got Peter To. Oh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll take it. Peter Totley, Toat, To, the Toatley, wearing an interesting outfit here. Now it's not. Yeah, it's uh, you know, an OCBD. You know, it's like a lavender or like maybe like a, maybe it's just a shade, but it looks like you know it could be off white. Uh, trousers rolled up with some suede or with some penny loafers. I think those are the shell cordovan tassels he just picked up as his first pair of Alden. Ooh, nice. but I'm interested in that thing on his left or right uh leg like yeah i'm trying the, to figure uh, that out too the emblem Isn't that a or stain? something it looks it looks I don't like, think that's like a stain a, no it, it looks like a peacock yeah it's like a peacock thing it looks like bb8 on my screen it is B, it's <laughs> like, it's a ball droid on there <laughs> ball droid, you gotta roll on out of here yeah. yeah beep boop that's interesting uh thanks peter cool cool stuff tell us tell us in the discord what the fuck is that thing man what is that i gotta know uh reyes uh we got reyes uh arts and this is art right here i don't care what you say um video games are art and fit pics are art uh and to illustrate that uh i'll go through his outfit right here so he's got a tobacco linen uh sport coat nice big patch pockets i think that's probably from that looks like suit supply right supplier oh, spear yeah. yeah um and then he's got a uh, a white OCBD with look at that look at that collar roll right here that is a well it's a it doesn't have a it's a it's a one piece collar OCBD oh that's interesting yeah so that that gives it that gives it that shape right there he's got a, a some olive Gurkha trousers um I mean yeah very simple but like you know nothing uh, can't go wrong with a combo like this um green yeah, and brown love... and white i mean yeah that's we love i mean if you took off the jacket he looked like peter griffin but yeah <laughs> well that's why you gotta well, leave gonna, the jacket i'm, gonna, he never I'm gonna keep saying maybe, that maybe people, he's I, like my whole thing with this is i want like everyone's always like i don't see it i'm, I'm gonna keep saying it till people will never be able to wear white shirts with olive cha wow uh, green trousers ever again just like so no I, matter I, what I, else you're I, wearing I, with it like even if he got I, like I, other pieces. Well, no, I, no, I'm just saying. Like I'm saying, the outfit's good. I'm saying, I all I said was, if he took off the jacket, he'd look like Peter Griffin. That's all I'm okay. saying. <laughs> I mean, maybe he is dressing. Maybe he's like his biggest style inspiration is Peter Griffin. Well, what sucks though is that this is also what uh, Roger Radcliffe wears in uh, in Hundred One Dalmatians. But the difference is he wears a sweater vest. 
So maybe Peter Griffin is uh, dressed like Roger Radcliffe. But without the thoughts. Yeah, because he got too damn fat. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no, okay, we just got canceled. I'm just I'm talking about Peter Griffin. Um it's the, uh, if, if yeah, I'm I know. Well, listen. If you cancel me for calling Peter Griffin fat, we're gonna have to cancel Seth MacFarlane because he does it every week on that show. I'm sorry, but that's uh, that's <laughs> we'll the apologize. joke. Okay, apologize, apologize to Peter. Yeah, I'm sorry, Peter Griffin. We've had him on the podcast before. He's a good okay, friend of okay, ours. Okay. I shouldn't be talking like him. The Daily Mirror is here uh, with the uh, Daily Mirror bring us the chicken head. <laughs> um. I can't get I don't I can't focus. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, maintaining the uh, the OCBD with a good collar. Um, yeah, that's nice. A good old thick belt and uh, it's like looks like pretty lightweight blue trousers and so yeah, it looks like Scott Fraser black maybe pennies. or something. Yeah, very uh, really nice bicycles. Yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's a big uh, bike guy. Or I mean, he just like big... collects bikes and doesn't ride. I mean, them. judging from the photo, uh, height is on his side. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Height I don't know what that looks like. Side. Very, very good. Thank you. Clean your mirrors. He he, he cleans it daily. Yeah, the day. Well, no, he uses it daily. It means he should clean them daily. Yeah. Well, so how many, how many, how many times uh, after how many uses do you clean your mirror? I personally clean my mirror after I use it three times. Once a week. Um, so if I, that's if all I, for set, if Saturday. I glance at myself three times in the mirror, I'm like, I gotta clean this. Yeah. Hope so. I'm always glancing it gets, at myself. It gets dirtier every time. It just steals more and more of my soul and just. <laughs> It's covered. Hey, okay. uh, well, that was Sad Head Saturday uh, and Sunday. Well, one of those things. Uh, thank you for submitting outfits, and we'll be, uh, you know, submit them every Sunday in the morning, before, right before, the, uh, not right before the stream. Uh, you know, do it, do it before uh, at least.